I cannot believe Rumia's mom is gaslighting us and saying Rumi is a traitor. No, we are being gaslit by that, uh, the guy with the scar, the knight that was apparently compared to someone like Johannes, who was like the strongest dude or something 40 years ago. And then there is the other side who actually faced Glenn at the very end and they're Imperial mages, right from the military days. Like uh, Glenn obviously left, but they remember him. There's the coup de girl whose hairs keep getting snagged by the other guy. It's a pretty interesting combo, but just based on the opening and ending, it's, it's kind of looking like uh, like she's going to transfer into our school because her outfit totally changes. The coup de is very funny because she doesn't listen to the plan. She just does whatever she wants. And her partner is like, the running gag is not the entire time. Anyways, let's begin today's reaction. Yeah, the maid was evil. Noble missions. Are oh, divine wisdom again. It's the same terrorist group. Okay, the maid is part of it. They're the researchers. <laughs> Headmaster can't really do shit, huh? He's not very powerful. <laughs> By sundown, give us Rumia. Glenn will save us all, right? Rumia. Hi. She, 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 she hit so hard. It stuck on the ground that she broke the sword. All right, fuck that sword. Give me a new sword. <laughs> Court Mage Corpse is obviously Imperial wise, but alchemy is different from. Alchemy must be a different set of magic, right? Where we're summoning. We're creating. It's, alchemy is a creation, right? I don't really know. I probably should watch Full Metal Alchemist to understand the lore, but it's a subset of magic. <laughs> These are clowns. These dudes are fucking clowns, bro. What? Did he mean to hit her? Did he actually mean to hit her because she was being so stupid before, bro? I thought, like, the aim, bro. With the aim, like, I, I, I don't know if this is intentional or not. These are clowns. <laughs> Very cunny. Extremely cunny. Did he just correct her? Albert. Albert. The funniest shit would be if he actually didn't mean to do it, but he also has shitty aim and now he's playing it off like he actually did that on purpose to have a 1v1 conversation with Glenn. I don't know. I think Albert's pretty normal. I think Riel, she a little special. The evil being. Corrected. Albert Riel Glenn. Executioner 17. Damn. I just... What do you... The re equals L. The fuck is that? That's her actual name. I thought last episode the translations were wrong. Her name is re equals L. Uh, these cards. What kind of card? The star? And she has the char. I can't read what this says, but they got all their cards too. I am more. I like real a lot. Alright, at least we have allies now to fight against them. She can't do anything about it. Because if she did, then the queen is in danger because she just, you know, held hostage with that pendant, right? Because the queen is here as hostage and they can take Rumia? I don't trust you one bit. Your plan is probably gonna be go in there, fight and win and get out. Yeah, exactly! Just charge. It's just charge to the front. Her entire strategy, run it down mid. Find some way to come before the queen, and only Glenn can do it. That was the hint she gave last episode. 
come before the queen, and only you can do it, Glenn. What is the hidden meaning, bro? Hmm. The world! Greatest mage in the continent. Oh wait, that's not the other guy. That's uh, no, 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 that, that's the guy that hate us. I was just looking, remembering the fucking creepy dude with the tongue going. That voice is not Glenn. Albert, substitute teacher for Glenn. Real. やつがこの学園の講師になったと聞いたので見に来たのだが。そこで奴からの伝言だ。お前たちの指揮はここにいるアルベ優勝してくれ。ウィンプリーズ。とのことだ。I I mean it's not like Glenn actually helped any of them like during this one, right? He was just kind of existing while starving and everyone else was just kind of doing well and giving Glenn the credit. I don't think they he's just kind of like exist as Team morale at this point, but with Albert there, I wonder. Also, yes, Rumi getting a lot of. I've assisted. He's very jealous about this. Real. Oh. Sisti understood something after grabbing Real's hand. You are. How could she figure out that they're imperial mages or something? I don't know. この人たち誰が指揮を取ろうが私たちのやることは変わらないんだからそりゃそうだけどそれに先生がいない時に私たちがいや、he'll the most glasses Megane tilt I've ever seen. What what is this? Uh, in, in, you know there's like a term called DPS, right? Damage per second. What is this? Glass tilt per second. G T no Megane per second. MPS. Megane per second, bro. This is the highest frequency Megane per second I've ever seen in my life. What the finger do, man? <laughs> This is indirectly confirming that this teacher actually respects Grillin Radars. Because if he didn't care, then he said, who gives a fuck? But he's saying without him around, class two is nothing but an or organized mob. So he does acknowledge Glenn Radar's skill. She was gonna transform into some kind of... What was it? Some kind of deity? Some kind of god? Alright. I'll just fuck people up, don't worry, go do it. Okay, Albert, I see you. Big titty goddess, come on. Oh, yes. That's it, Titty God, the goddess. Big Titty Goddess. Yep, there it is. I feel like the judges are a bunch of coomers who are unfairly giving her 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. But the other guy was a dragon. They're like, ew, a scaly. I'm gonna give you a 9 for this. She won with the fan service. The sk skip them. All right. The hentai protags. Straight up the hentai protags here. We will. Kill her. I thought they wanted to capture her and like use her amplify. Kill her. Is she useful when she's dead? Alright, so Cash took an L and then Megane clutched 1-1 one, one, and now Sisti will go in 2-1 easy. <laughs> 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 
Knuckles and this. Pine Kill versus Sisty. Gee, I wonder who's gonna win. Megane is actually so proud of himself, and I respect that. I respect that. Megane has been his biggest advocate from the beginning, trusting in himself, flexing like that. I'd rather have a Megane like this than just another one that just kind of simps around as, as acting weak, man. <laughs> I think that's a lie. Should he actually say that? Sisty power friendship. It's a wind spell. Oh! And the mechanics here is different, right? Because remember what Glenn said about how y'all are just like stopping your incantations like. E easily but like if you extend it it can like change so like what she did here is basically the equivalent to what glenn was doing right with the shock bowl different applications of it right <laughs> maybe i'm wrong altered spell right <laughs> number one <laughs> gibble get in there Okay, but now with the Ruby applied. Why do we... Why do we jump down the building? Because these knights, they were just like running on the ground and Glenn just like jumped out and now we're fucking trapped. We should just stay on the roof. Why, why are you descending, bro? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Does that mean this is Rumia also? Real is Rumia right now. This is Glenn and Rumia? Or Glenn and Real and the other... No, other sides got... No, Rumia can't be here. Rumia is here 100%. Because if Rumia is still with them and they got caught, that makes no sense. Now the soldiers are going to be like, Oh, what the fuck? What's going on? It's Albert and Real. So this must be Glenn and Rumia. How is this possible? Swapped. So when Sisti held Rumia's, Rumia's hand, basically, she could like instinctively understand. I thought it was some kind of message, a hidden message, but it's like, oh, I just feel like this is Rumia due to the connection we have. Ooh, Serika, the strongest mage in the continent. Now what? This guy's a fucking fraud. Redemption arc for I thought he was part of the divine wisdom people. I thought he was part of the terrorists. I'll take responsibility? Duh, well, okay, what's going on with this guy? He's a good guy all of a sudden again. What the fuck? Well, I got baited. Mm. What do you mean, put that girl to the sword? What does that mean? Mom! Mom! It, you know, plans within plans. No, let her cook. Let her cook. We know she's good. We know she cares about Rumi. She's just doing this. Why, though? See? She's going like this while saying it. I means she doesn't want to say it. You don't have to go that far, mom. Yeah. Maybe the pendant's making her do it? I don't know. But like, I, I, the, the, the physical, you know, look, look at her fist, right? She's like making herself like, oh, it pains her to do it. So she must be forced to do it or something. That's so fucked. Oh. 
<laughs> Serika, She's being controlled. Khan, do something. Will she double down? I doubt it. No, she wants Rumia. She said take care of her. As in it's a plead of mercy, plead of cry, like she's asking us to save. Glenn, only you can do it. Only you can do it, Glenn. <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh, okay, what a... I'll the only reason she could take the pendant off there is because he went in on Glenn because he was beside the queen and he couldn't take it off because he, he would do something. So as soon as we baited him, she had the ability to just take it off. Is that what's going on? Conditional <laughs> cursed. That's why we can't say anything. But if you take it off, you die. I... Can someone explain to me how this worked? If you take it off, you die. She took it off, though. She can't lie, either. We, we, we... I, 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 I was following it, and then I did not follow it. Let's just let it cook. Okay, we'll, we'll keep watching. I, I have no clue. What the fuck? What other condition? They haven't said it yet. What <sighs> the fuck what is the other condition? Yeah, why didn't it activate? Of course. Of, of course, that fool was activated. And the curses of magic. No magic. Nullified. <laughs> Only you can do it, Glenn. Zafu. It was right there. How could I not guess this? It was so fucking obvious. Fuck. Fuck. あるかな。ま、言っているよ、いきなりにおける魔術軌道の完全不。さて、へえか。嘘はほどほどに。え、嘘。起動しちまうからな。she had to say it. Mommy! Oh, thank God. We had a happy ending. <laughs> Mom! Mom! Oh, Rubia! Oh, Rubia! Mom! Mom! Ah, oh, these shitty ass guards. Oh, no. These are good guards. The maid? Albert. Albert and Rio, take out the maid. Soge King. Oh, shit. It's time to fucking charge. It's time to fucking charge in. The others were to investigate the background to close to her majesty. So let's listen to what he was saying, right? Two missions. Observe the Imperial Guards, right? Which was kind of... Uh, there, there, were, there was obviously some spies in there, right? With extremists. And then... Background of those close to the Queen. Because she has Amplify and Amplify is bad. of the bastard instructor also the castle is also in frame right now you see that you see that shit the castle the floating castle is also still there the akashic records and the castle what is the meaning of it <laughs> Charge! so Akashic Records, Castle in the Sky. We need the princess for something. I thought that it's because Amplify was too OP of an ability and they didn't want someone so strong around. But it's like she needs to get sacrificed for the Akashic Records that relates to the floating castle above. What is the plot though? Also, we don't have a second season, so it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. God damn it. Where's season two coming? Hey, maybe season two will be announced soon, man. Have some hope. Have some cope. <laughs> <笑>天の知恵研究会がここまで帝国地方。<笑><笑> Or should I say Rumia? 
もう行くのかこれからも幸せで健やかに過ごせるよあの子の子。She'd be saying thanks to Glenn. She's like, oh, Seneca, you've done such a good job. What the fuck? Glenn did fucking everything, but I guess Glenn does operate on Seneca's orders. But the queen? Because she told us. She told us to look after you. Why would she ever say that shit? You saved my daughter. So it wasn't even a random chance, yeah. And then what did he do after he saved her? We disappeared for a bit, went to the school, and then we harassed her in the first episode by checking out all her proportions and the, and the, the fucking garter belt. And but there was a little bit of a hinting there that Glenn was like, oh, it must be Ermiana, right? She knew at that point, right? The sister's gotten completely replaced by Rumi at this arc. Let's spend it on the kids. Yeah! <laughs> Are they straight up drunk? Wait, what's going on? Why did, why? It sounds like they're, dr they're drinking. Br the kid. I mean, it is a different world, right? The customs probably doesn't matter here. Like, what am I expecting? <laughs> Drunk Shironeko. <laughs> the brandy cake. Okay. This is how you really feel? Drunk words are honest thoughts. You ever heard that? You know, when people are inebriated, the things that they say? Drunk words are honest thoughts that you would never say when you're sober. So, sissy. Oh, that's guy! A drunk nickel, huh? yeah. The bill! Is that her entire bill? How much did fucking eat, bro? Three months of salary? Yay! Extinction rate! Woohoo! And that's today's episode. Happy ending. A little bit of, you know, oh my god, does the queen actually hate Rumia? No, no. The conditions of the curse. She literally cannot say what she's thinking or she's gonna die. She can't take it off or she's gonna die. Wait. But Zafool though. When did Glenn activate Zafool? Because like did because like think about it, if he already had it activated, then the queen did not have to say, I fucking hate you, Rumia. You're a piece of shit. I wish I never had you. Right? Because the conditions of the curse was already dispelled at that time. I don't know when Zafool happened. Maybe it just got activated. Small area? Is there like a radius? Okay. There. I, I, I get. Okay, okay, okay. So there. It was like a distance thing. But like, I'm just thinking of how ridiculous it could have been where the queen just goes off on Rumia, but it's like she never had to do that. But hey, it, it is what it is. This swordsman guy? I don't think we saw a proper conclusion of him, right? Because it sounded like he was still looking after the queen the entire time. I'm a little confused on that guy. I thought he was evil. But then he wasn't. He was like, no, I'll take responsibility for everything. I'm not really sure. But the main enemy was the maid, who was a heretic mage. And she is after Rumia for what? The Akashic Records, which is a, almost a title drop. And the castle floating was also in frame when she said that. Rumia needs to be sacrificed for the Akashic Records to happen, which relates to the castle. Maybe... It's like a seal, Akashic Records. What the fuck does that even mean? Maybe Rumia is a sacrifice in order to awaken some kind of god that, it, that resides in the castle. Is it something as simple like that? I'm not really sure, but this arc was fantastic. That's it from me, if you're still here. If you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists here for more content. And until next time, take care.